for you. And I don't want you guys to worry about what's on the notes right now. We'll have time to write that stuff down. What I'd like you guys to do is just really kind of focus on what I am teaching because everything that you guys have learned so far about the unit circle, I want you to kind of forget. I don't want you to really relate to anything. I want you just to build off of what we've learned so far in this class. So really just focus on what I'm talking about now, not, talk, not, finish, not worrying about copying down the notes. Those notes are not going away. You have plenty of time. So let's go back to our special right triangles. And I'm just going to refer to the 45-45-90 triangle. And if you guys remember the 45-45-90 triangle, um, the first relationship we talked about was the legs. If you have, like, the leg is x, then that's x. Then we figured out that the hypotenuse was x square root of 2. Then we said, well, this is very important because now we, if we recognize that relationship, it doesn't matter what side, what side I give you for the leg. If I said this is 5, then you know that's 5, and then you know that's 5 square root of 2. And you're like, OK, that was kind of easy, right? And we took it even a step further, and we said, well, what about instead of giving you the leg and going to the hypotenuse, what if I gave you the hypotenuse? And then you need to find the leg. Well, he said to go from leg to hypotenuse, you multiply by square root of 2. So to go from hypotenuse to leg, you're going to divide by the square root of 2. And we got that answer to be simplified square root of 2 over 2. So that one's square root of 2 over 2. And we looked at this, and you said, OK, I get it. I kind of remember it from geometry. But like, why is it important? And if you guys remember, what we talked about was, well, the sign of all of these triangles of 45 degrees is exactly the same. x over x squared of 2. That simplifies the x divide out to 1 over the square root of 2. Rationalize the denominator, you get square root of 2 over 2. And you say, OK, well, what about the sign of 45 degrees on this triangle? Remember, 45 sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Opposite over hypotenuse, that is 5 over 5 square root of 2. So guys, what you recognized was it didn't matter if it was x, if it was 5, if it was 10, if it was 20. It's always going to simplify to square root of 2 over 2. And what we liked about this triangle was when we do the opposite over the hypotenuse, there is really nothing we needed to do. We don't even need to rationalize the denominator at all. Because when the radius is 1, or when the hypotenuse is 1, we could actually just confirm with our opposite side. Right? That's why we said this is our favorite one. We like this one the best. Because to find the sine, the cosine, or, you know, um, find the sine or the cosine, we don't need to put it, like when we put it over 1, we just know it's the sides of those triangles. Right? Yes? So um, that is what we came up with our uh, favorite triangle for the trigonometric functions. Now, um, or that's what is important about understanding those trigonometric functions with the hypotenuse of 1. So the next thing